Testing, testing, testing. One, 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 me, me, me. Any idea? I've got no clue. No, never mind. Claims to be a nerd, but yeah. <laughs> just swears off me on camera. Uh, hi there. Uh, I like watching those sort of people who share or all their random finds in like charity shops, cash converters, kecks, car boots, etc. All the C's apparently. Um, and I thought I'd do the same. I'm a retro gamer, collector, player, whatever, nerd, whatever you want to call it. And I thought I'd show off my bits too. This I am husband. This is my wife. Hello. This is her hand. And she does the same. But with better stuff. Apparently. Predominantly anime stuff, Disney, horror, mostly old horror films. Like anything Japanese and cutesy. Yeah. It's the weird llama in the background. Oh, he's cute. It, it, yeah, that was found at a charity shop, incidentally. Um, yeah, and these are our first few bits. Not Gizmo, he's just a sort of placeholder. <laughs> first few bits were these Need for Speeds. Two brilliant games, but I've already got them in my massive PS2 collection, as you can possibly slightly see in the background. Um, these were a pound each, or well, supposed to be two pound each, but were two for a quid. Both complete in lovely condition. Can't open it. Yeah, yeah don't really matter. Mm. I, always, I tend to take the instruction manuals out and sell them on eBay and just take them to Kex for. I paid like a pound for the two, get like three, four for the four for them. So yeah. Ooh. Next two. Next two. Quick as yeah. Shut up! I couldn't pick it up. Same sort of thing. But these were a pound each from charity shops. Mm. I can't remember if they're complete. I don't really care. They were just literally to sell to CEX. Yeah. That's a good game. Apparently. I don't really care. The... <laughs> I like I... Animal Crossing. It's cute. Although you've not played the Wii one. No, but they're all basically the same game. So... I've played Lego Star Wars on the 360. I didn't. I don't like Star Wars. I don't really like most of the Lego games, to be honest. Apart from the, <laughs> the movie one. So. Yep. Next. Now these were getting cheaper. 35p each these were from a charity shop. Incidentally, they're all worth around the same. As the CEX, I've noticed, but yeah, these were 35p. They also had like Dead Island and Riptide and mm. some Assassin's Creed's and stuff. But one, that was complete, but I've already taken the instruction yeah, manual. That one was complete, I think. Oh, sorry. <laughs> one, was, one was complete, one wasn't. And I've taken the instruction manuals out, but again, eventually they'll go to CEX. Yay. Towards something better. Or something much better. <laughs> Next, next pile. Getting better, well, not better. <laughs> getting cheaper. Ten uh, p each. These were from cash converters. I really don't give a crap about them, but they're like nice, cheaper ones to put in the PS2 collection. Yeah. Brian Lara, Pez, FIFA, 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 t uh, no. Tiger Woods, <laughs> Tiger Woods, Tiger Woods. Wait. But not only were they 10p, they were. I got two of them for free because they wouldn't scan for some reason. All a load of crap. Yeah, but they're worth one. it. So yeah, here comes the here's best, good one. best one ever so far. To be fair, these are the best actual retro I found in a charity shop for the yonks. Mm. Um, these were a pound or one pound fifty each. Was I don't know how they worked their pricings out. But yeah. The best game I Did think they? I've ever found. <laughs> glare. Epic glare. Salt Lake 2002. Because everyone likes sports games. Sideways Bruce Willis. <laughs> With a very big... Um... Yeah, I don't know. I, I think yeah. it's because the 20 million game stickers that were on it for some reason. Although, I'm pretty sure I remember they had a bit of sellotape on this bit as well, which made it worse. Yeah. But, but apparently we got Ove Heggy. Heggy. Ove Heggy. Guff. Weird Guff. This was £1.50. Yeah. From, yeah. I, uh, we watched The Walking Dead. I like The Walking Dead. Not completely up to where we're supposed to be, but I mean, this was yeah, this looked cool. I haven't played it yet because I asked the wife she didn't want to play it. Not yet, but soon. And um, yeah, it was one pound <laughs> fifty. It look it looks cool. We'll give it a try. Even if you have, if one of the characters you get to play of is T Dog, shows how old it is. Everyone wants to be T Dog. Yeah, <laughs> or Andrea. Yeah, yeah. Cute girl. Well, yeah, some sort of Anne Hathaway looking thing. No, know. it's uh. Repro of the old cupcake dolls from the eighties, I think. But you you pull her skirt up and she's essentially a cupcake. I won't do it now because it's bloody hard. Yeah, she struggled with it, show, even showing <laughs> me off camera a few times. Uh, this was cool, cutesy little alien. Without blinding everyone. You are blinding people. <laughs> um, that was four quid. I took a punt, and I had no idea what actually was or whether it was worth any money or anything. 
Yeah, it's very cute. Look at his little face. Look at his little about to be <laughs> split in half face. Oh, poor Bishop. Spoiler alert: Lance Henriksen dies. If you don't know, it's actually, it's both. Te- no, he doesn't actually. Technically, no. He killed him. You killed him again. <laughs> yeah, this was four quid. It was some loot crate thing that apparently is worth at least twice that. Anyway, but it's, it's not to sell. This is to keep because it looked cool. It's not bad and I for, like a, aliens. for a little thing. Uh, latest find. The latest find that I literally bought today. <laughs> it's three pounds for a load of unboxed P- uh, 360 games. And they said PlayStation. Don't want to get lynched by you lot, internet <laughs> lot. Um, I primarily got this for one game that's worth quite a bit second hand and two games I actually want to play. <laughs> Firstly, <laughs> this, however the hell you pronounce it. We have no clue. Il to for the third to pray. MMA, I have not played and thus would like to. Grid, really good game. Me. Halo 3, nee. overrated, but okay. Lanoir. Nee. Lanoir. Nee. Lanoir. Nee. <laughs> Lips. Lips. <laughs> Lips. We're seeing a pattern here. Guitar Hero. <laughs> Guitar Hero. Guitar Hero 2, probably the best one. Guitar Hero Aerosmith. Guitar Hero Metallica, probably the worst one. <laughs> and the best one. And the one that's worth about £20 for some reason on eBay, Monopoly. That will definitely easily make our money back, assuming we can sell just a disc. Although 360 version is a lot of fun. Yeah, we actually we've got this. Pro- we've already got this that we've played to death. Yeah. <laughs> if I always win, she always sulks. Should it? But you know, I actually bought this a while ago. But I thought this is our first ever video. I tried something cool. Um, yeah, I found this for like two or three quid in a charity shop a little while ago. But it's yeah, it's an old big box DOS. PC, PC DOS game. <laughs> Works with Windows 95. I remember having Windows 95. How old do some of you feel right <laughs> now? You'll never experience the joy of Windows 95. That was one thing I loved in Captain Marvel. It was the only film I've ever seen where they had to load up <laughs> something and she's standing there going, what's it doing? It's loading. Yeah. Nothing ever loads in films. Even in old films when they had the technology it was instant. <laughs> it didn't take ten minutes yeah. to load. Uh, yeah, this is in really nice condition. It seems to be every every bit of tree that there was. It comes with many trees. Many many trees. I don't know. There's like two <laughs> instruction manuals. Some. Sort it's like advertisements for other games. And you've got the bit, all the the cardboard inserts, and the, I mean, I'm not environmentally friendly, but that is such a waste of trees. Just Even the box. I mean, why the hell do PC games have to have this? It's all very unnecessary, but it's cool. It is cool. Uh, Last few bits. Weird. PS1 games are my, P- are my PS, are my <laughs> probably my passion. I'm trying to get a whole set, unlike I ever will, with things like Sui Code in existence. But these were two random ones I won on eBay for cheap, something like two pounds, three pound each. Yeah. Warhawk in that weird ass cardboard box that a couple of old games had for some reason. Yeah, I've, I've don't, I've, I don't think I've ever seen the Tekken, cardboard box. The original Tekken came in one. I don't know why. But it took us ages to figure out if that was the right disc or not. Yeah, once again, a game where if you ever bought it second hand, they would have no clue if you got the wrong game or not. But I think I had this back in the day, but I don't remember it in the slightest. Mm. The other one, Nanotech Warrior. It's beautiful cracks on the front. It's, it's not too bad. I mean, I'll, I'll probably replace that. I've got loads of junk around, cases lying around. Yeah. With a weird poo stain as well on the front. A missing it's, front inlay. Yeah, but I don't really care. Again, a couple of quid, I... I've never even heard of this one, but I don't care if they're not immaculate. As long as they've got the name on the side and it looks good on yeah. my shelf, I don't really give a shit. And last, and not least, <laughs> Breath of Fire. Iv. 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 Or as most people would put it when they seem to go in CEX. What's that say? Breath of Fire. Yeah, it's like the, um, the Texas Chainsaw thing all over again. The Texas Chainsaw something. That was funny. I don't know what was more pathetic that they didn't know the word massacre or they hadn't heard of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but... Yeah. Anyway, this is how you do CEX. You buy a load of guff like I just showed you, trade it in there, and get something like this. This was 22 quid. In absolutely immaculate condition. Yeah. Not not classed as mint as well in there. Mm. Like They have boxed and mint, but this was just classed as boxed. I don't know what it has to be to mint. I mean, maybe the staff will come and suck you off or something. I don't know. <laughs> but this was in amazing I mean, condition. The disc is... A little bit of dust on it, but yeah. other than that, it's perfect. 
This was £22 as well. So with all the cuff we traded in, that probably cost us, what, five? Somewhere between five and ten quid. Yeah. For a game that goes for nearly 35 on eBay. And it's one that you actually want to play as well. Yeah. Which is <laughs> unusual. I've probably played not 90% of my PS1 games. Mm. But. I play a few. Mostly mine, but they're all RPGs and he hates them. I like Final Fantasy 7 and 8 and 9. <laughs> Mainly 8. Yeah. Anyway, that's it. I hope this video wasn't too unprofessional. Uh... Yeah, we're going to try and do other ones of our other finds, which often which consists of get, uh, DVDs, random guff, cardboard toys. finds, toys, etc. And we're just about going to make it under 11 minutes, I Yay. think. Yay. <laughs> so, yeah. We haven't made up an outro. No, not yet. So but we probably never will. When we become multi-millionaire YouTubers, ha, jokes. <laughs> we'll think of one. Yep. 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 Au revoir.